Hello, and welcome to another Sunday night edition of All or Not According to Jack. Uh, I had said some time ago that I would be covering a variety of topics, so why not uh, talk about some football, especially after an amazing, amazing night of uh, conference championship football that took place earlier today. So just dating myself a little. And, and, and first of all, I want to thank my brothers of the Rockville Center, Odd Fellow Lodge, for having yet another great party uh, hosting the conference championship games. I remember back uh, 11 years ago, they hosted a, a party. And one of the, I think maybe it was the second or third one that I attended there. And these guys, beat San Francisco out in San Francisco to, to go to the Super Bowl and beat Mr. Tom Brady for a second time. Cool, cool memories. Memories, I love them. But in any event, so different teams had some memories uh, made today. So we're going to talk about them and uh, we're going to just do a quick recap of the playoffs. So I uh, wrote some notes down. So let's cover um, the AFC first. So we had seven seeds, the Tennessee Titans, number one, Kansas City Chiefs, number two, Buffalo Bills, number three, Cincinnati Bengals, four, Las Vegas Raiders, five, New England Patriots, six, and the Pittsburgh Steelers, seven. So week one, the wild card week, uh, Kansas City beat the Pittsburgh Steelers quite handily at Arrowhead Stadium. We knew that would happen. Uh, now, Buffalo Bills hosted the New England Patriots. Uh, I wasn't sure who would win that game. Of course, New England over the years has really uh, dominated Buffalo, but Buffalo took that one quite handily. Uh, score unimportant, but they, they kicked their butts. <laughs> Uh, Cincinnati Bengals, who hadn't been in the playoffs for quite a while, they defeated the Las Vegas Raiders to advance. So that was week one. Over in the NFC, you had seeded one Green Bay Packers, two Tampa Bay Buccaneers, three Dallas Cowboys, Ooh. four Los Angeles Rams, five. Arizona Cardinals, six, San Francisco 49ers. That game, that team will be mentioned a few times. And number seven, Philadelphia Eagles. Double, boo. <laughs> okay, so the wild card round for the NFC teams, Tampa Bay Buccaneers defeated the Philadelphia Eagles. Yay. Los Angeles Rams defeated the Arizona Cardinals. San Francisco went into Dallas and upset the Dallas Cowboys. Big surprise. Dallas hasn't been able to put it together in the postseason for like 20 years. We had something to say about that back in 2007. Okay, so week two, the divisional round, the AFC. So what an amazing week last week. Uh, unfortunately, I missed most of the games because uh, Jason and I were driving home from Florida. So we actually, which game did we miss? Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. It was the wild card round where we missed some of the games. So we did not miss these games. So Cincinnati Bengals upset the Tennessee Titans, who were the number one seed, 19 to 16 by three points. Uh, wild game in Kansas City. The Chiefs beat the Buffalo Bills 42 to 36 in overtime. Unfortunately, I missed the end of that game because I had a scheduled 930 recording with my friend and brother Aaron Kufferberg to talk about all things Jethro Tull. So that's that. In the NFC games last week, San Francisco, again, went into the frozen tundra of Green Bay and defeated them 13 to 10. I know my Giants did that a few times. Feels good. <laughs> uh, and the uh, 
the Tampa Bay, oh no, the, the Rams, surprisingly, went into Tampa Bay and upset them 30 to 27. That game looked like a runaway uh, in the early going. Tampa Bay came back, but LA hold on, held on to win to set up a uh, conference championship game between San Francisco and LA this week. The championship game in the AFC was KC and Cincinnati in KC. It was looking very much like Kansas City Chiefs were going to go back to the Super Bowl again, but that was not meant to be uh, KC. Uh, and, and this was the three o'clock game today, folks. KC had a 21 to three lead going into the half. And, and I thought it was a 21 10. So it was one of those scores that's immaterial, but it looked like KC had an early, early uh, advantage in, in that game. But Cincinnati in the second half, they just came out of the locker room, kept chipping away, forced overtime. Uh, KC, uh, now last week, KC won the coin toss against Buffalo, drove the ball down, scored a touchdown to win it. This week wasn't meant to be. They, they won the coin toss again, but they flashed a statistic on the screen that said that no team in the postseason has won twice in, in a row in overtime. And uh, there was a uh, Patrick Mahomes threw a bomb. Uh, the ball was tipped and intercepted into the hands of the Cincinnati Bengals. They drove it down, kicked a field goal, and won. So miracle of miracles, number four seed Cincinnati Bengals are going to the Super Bowl. So just to celebrate, let's give them a little love in this screen. So to the NFC game, it was the San Francisco 49ers and the LA Rams. Now, I have a good friend who, uh, who is a fan of the Los Angeles Rams. We call him Cousin Vinny. And uh, poor guy had bicep surgery just this past weekend. So uh, I'm very proud to say that uh, the LA Rams won one for the Gipper. They they were trailing 17 to 7. And uh, Rams never quit. They chipped away, got a touchdown, made it 17-14, tied it 17-17 in the fourth quarter. And then with the game on the line, kicked a field goal with about what a minute 40 left. And uh, with some good defense, interception. They were able to kneel down and close out the game. So it will be Cincinnati Bengals and wait for it. The LA Rams winning one for the Gifford for the Gipper from my good friend Vinny. Congratulations, guys. So Super Bowl will be in two weeks. So and as for me. I did not want to see a, a third matchup between the Cincinnati Bengals and San Francisco 49ers in the Super Bowl. I always want to see new matchups, and I got one. So both number four seeds, uh, that I wasn't expecting. But, hey, they, they, won, they won the big games when it counted, so they both deserve to be there. You know, two really good quarterbacks, Matt Stafford, Joe Burrows. You know, may the best team win. And there you have it. I am uh, Jack Toledano, speaking for all or not, according to Jack. Uh, as I always say, write your comments in the comments section. Um, if you like my content, please subscribe. I would love that and appreciate that very much. And you have a good night.